On September 13th, U.S. President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Keir Strummer held talks at the White House. The leaders supported Ukraine in its opposition to Russian aggression. Among other things, Washington and London discussed steps regarding the use of Western long-range weapons to strike Russia. It's been discussed by the two countries because the weapons that are supplied to Ukraine are largely British-American and there should be a common position between the two nations. Judging by the information we have, the decision has in fact already been taken. It is just a question of how to publicly announce it and whether it should be publicly announced, which is an important point. The United States and the United Kingdom have not yet officially agreed on Ukraine's strikes on Russia with Western missiles. However, as Politico notes, British Prime Minister Keir Strummer hinted that there could be progress on this issue at the UN General Assembly later this month. The Guardian, citing its sources, claims that Washington and London have already decided to authorize Kyiv to launch long-range strikes against Russia with its weapons, but are not yet ready to announce it. This wasn't a meeting about a particular capability. That wasn't why we got our heads down today. It was to allow ourselves the space which we took, the time which we took, to have a strategic discussion so that tactical decisions could be seen within the wider strategy. And it was a, it was a really good invitation from the President. We've had a very productive and we've come to a strong position. I'm very pleased that we've had these discussions. Like NATO allies are already in favor of lifting ban on the use of long-range weapons against military facilities on the Russian territory. Among the supporters is Canada. Its Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has once again said that Ukraine must win the war. According to the head of Canadian government, Putin is trying to destabilize the international order with his actions. Canada fully supports Ukraine using long-range long weaponry to prevent and interdict Russia's continued, available, uh, uh, continued ability to uh, degrade Ukrainian civilian infrastructure and mostly to kill innocent civilians in their unjust war. Putin threats in response to a potentially positive decision by North Atlantic Alliance countries to strike Russia with long-range weapons are evidence of the Russians' difficult situation on the front line. This was stated by Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk. TVN24 reports, while Ukraine believes that the permission to strike deep into Russia will help to end the terror much more quickly and prevent it from spreading. Russian terror begins at weapons depots, airfields and military bases on Russian territory. If Russia isn't ready to stop terror voluntarily, then it should be done by force. The Putin regime's loud scarce mongering is only evidence of its fear that terror may come to an end. Andriy Yermak, head of the office of the president of Ukraine and Telegram. Putin will continue to threaten the West. According to Reuters, Russian Federation may conduct nuclear tests in response to countries' permission to use long-range missiles to strike Russian territory. These tests would be the first since 1990. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.